Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It is the 14th day of Menachem Av. Tonight is going to be a big Yom Tev. Tu Be'av, the 15th day of Av, is a big holiday. Uh, we're actually going to give tonight also a very, very fascinating class about the how in Judaism we can start from the top. We don't necessarily need to start from the bottom. So that's uh, tonight, um, eight o'clock. So here I gave in my plug. We're, so we're in the Tanya. We are in the middle of the letter five of the Igera Sakodesh. Igera Sakodesh is the fourth part of the Tanya, which is a collection of 32 letters that the Alter Rebbe wrote. It is, this fifth letter is a very fascinating and long letter, and I'm going to give a little synopsis of what uh, we learned yesterday. We started le the letter five. The Al Rebbe spoke about what it says, Ki be ko Hashem olamim, that Hashem creates the world with the letters Yud and the letter He. So it says that the letter, the world to come, the Olam Abba, the spiritual world, was created with the letter Yud. And the Olam Azeh, in this world, was created with the letter He. And he explained. What it, we, yesterday we focused on the, uh, the Olam Abba, that the world to come is created with the letter Yud. So he explained Yud represents the Chachma. The letter Yud is a dot. Just like Chachma is a dot that includes everything from that dot, everything you can form any, any other letter. And the He here, it says, represents the Malchut, the kingdom. And he used the term which says, Abba Yasad Barta. Abba means the father. Yosad Barta means he formed the daughter. The daughter represents Malchut, and he explains Malchut is the kingdom which is about the creation of the next world, and this is the daughter. We explain that this is also the Yud, the He, and the Vav, and the He, that the Yud is wisdom. We have two He's in the name of God, the Yud, first He, the second He, and so the yud is the wisdom, the he is the understanding. When you take the wisdom and, and you develop it, then you have the vav represents the emotions because the vav has the dot and brings it down. This is the shape of the vav. And then the second he represents the malchus. Malchus is kingdom which is accepting everything and receiving, uh, uh, creating the next world. Okay, but not to digress, let's get to the explanation, what he explained, that what, what does it mean, the Abba Yosad Barta? In the human condition, it says speech is Malchus. And here the Alter Rebbe went to give a fascinating explanation of the concept of speech. When you speak, when you say a word, you know, when you train, someone to play music, for example, you don't take, give him a guitar and it says, and you say, start playing, it's gonna go. You have to practice every part, every detail, how to make it happen, how the sounds may work, where you have to put your fingers, whatever, everything, all the mechanics has to be in place and then you train. Why don't we do the same thing when it comes to, speak, to teach, them, teach children to speak, why don't you tell them, okay, you want to say the letter A, make your mouth like this, ah. You want to say the letter B, close your lips. We don't do that. We don't do that. Why not? Not only, this is because the way we say the words, is very deeply rooted in the soul. It comes from above logic. 
It's not that your mind tells your lips to move in a certain way, and that's how you form the letter. It is something which is above, which wants the, the level which is above your logic, pre the logic, wants to say a certain words, and then your lips follow automatically, follow this, the will of the soul automatically. So this is a, a, a level of chachma which is above the logic. And it's not a nature of the lips to, to do certain things. There's, diff there's different letters, as the Alter Rebbe explains, what it says in, in, in our sources about the different, uh, there is five different tools of expressing, of uh, pronouncing the different letters. There's letters that comes from the lips, like the bet, the mem, the vav, the pay, the letters that come from the tongue, lamed, the nun, the letters that come from the, from the throat, the aleph, the het, the hey, and so on. So all of these letters, they come from the different, they use the, the mouth, they use the different parts of the body to, to, to pronounce those letters. But in the same time, they are not, they are not, they don't come from the mouth and they're not a nature in the mouth to do because otherwise at the day that you're born, you'll be able to speak. And they're not that, they're, they don't come from the understanding because you see also a child understands, but he cannot talk, he cannot express it in words. So where does these words come from? These, where do these expressions of the letters come from? They come from a level of chachma. Not only the chachma, is the makra chachma, the source of the chachma, which is beyond, above logic. It is the soul that wants to talk, and automatically the mouth talks. It expresses, it comes out with different words and with different vows. It wants to make the vow, or the lips contract. You want to say, if you go to the doctor, the doctor says, make ah, because he wants you to open the mouth. You say ah, automatically the, mo the mouth opens. So that is, that is the point, what he's trying to, what the Alter is explaining, is that the letters, the words of the letters of form, they come from above the logic. Now, this is what he explained, that the world to come, come from the Yud. Like we said, the yud is the point, this is the point which is above the logic, which is the point, the yud. And in the world to come, that level, which is above logic, is revealed to, to the souls that live in the world to come. That's what he explained yesterday. That says the neshamas of the tzaddikim, they sit and they enjoy from the light of the endless light of Hashem, which is revealed to them, each one according to his level. But this world, the world, the Olam Azeh, is created from the letter He. Now we need to understand what does that mean. After all, we just said that every letter, every letter comes from the Yud, as we said, the Abba Yosad Barta, the father creates the daughter, meaning that in order for the words to be pronounced, yeah, it comes from something which is above the logic. So in that case, why do we say that this world is created from the letter hey? So here comes the Alter Rebbe and is going to explain. And before we start reading it, I'm going to give another short introduction about the concept of the pnimiyut and the chitzoniyut. There is this body and there is the soul. There is the matter and there is the form. I'll give you an example. Let's say you walk in to a furniture store and you're looking to buy a nice table. You're going and you see one table is $200. And then you go, and you go further and you see another table. That table 
This is $5,000. What's the difference? They both made out of wood. They both look decent. The difference is that's the, the quality. The difference is the shape, the design. So you have the body, the matter is one thing, but you have the form, the, the form of it, the tsuga, the neshama of it, the neshama, the soul of the, of the table, that makes the difference. And when a person appreciates the soul of the table, when he appreciates the form of the table, he appreciates the art of the table, then by him, the matter is not so important as the soul, as the, as the form. To use another example, let's say you go, you go in to a lecture. There is a lecture given, a fascinating lecture about something, about a concept, something you really, really love and you're fascinated by it. The only problem is you walk into the room and the guy speaks French and you don't understand the word but you heard every single word. What did you hear? You heard the matter. You heard the body of the lecture. You didn't get the message. You didn't get the form of the letter, of the, of the, of the lecture. On the other hand, let's say sometimes you go, let's say you speak three languages. You speak English, you speak Hebrew, and you speak Russian. And you're fluent in all these languages. And you go into, you, you're going to a lecture, and there's such a fascinating lecture. And you're so mesmerized by the lecture. And you come home and you're so excited. Oh, what a lecture. And your wife asks you, tell me, what language do they speak? You know, sometimes it's possible that you don't even know what language you spoke. Because the language, the matter, is not important to you. What is important to you is the form, the tzura, the, the, the message is important. That's what you got, the message that was carried through the letters. Here comes the Alta Rebbe explaining that also when we're talking about this world, when we're talking about the letters of the Aleph base, which God used to create this world, we have the body of the letters and we have the soul of the letter. So in the oil about the world to come, what is important, what really counts is the soul, the, the message, the form, you see beyond the, the physical part. What is in this world, this world is formed with the letter hey, because here, what the first thing you see in this world is the body of the letter. You see the body, you see the phys what you see with the physical eyes. What is the body of the letters? It comes with the letter hey. Why? Why? Why the letter hey? Because the letter hey is the root of every single letter, meaning what, the, the hey is the ha, ha the breath. Every single letter, in order to pronounce every letter, needs the breath. You have the voice you have, you have the, that comes through the breath, and you connect it with the form. It, it forms in the different letters. It shapes in different ways through the other, the different parts of the body that shape it in a different way. But the letter, hey, is called the oisekalila, a light letter because it doesn't have a particular form in, in a particular letter, it is the general letter that connects all the letters. All the letters come from this letter A. That is why it says that that this world was created from the letter, with the letter A. So let's see how uh, inside the Alta Rebbe says this. Says the altar. 
אחו אויסי אויס, הן בבחינס חוימה וצורו הנקרא פימיס וחיצוניס. The letters, they have a plain matter and they have the form which is called, they refer to, by the internal and external aspects. כי הגם שמקוירם הוא מקדמוס השכל, even though we said before that the source of these letters are from prior, the pre-logic, as we explained before, the letters form not from the logics, not that you think a certain way and then the letter comes out, it comes from beyond, above logic. It comes from the will of the soul. It says, This is but the form of the, the, the different pronunciations of the 22 letters. That comes from above the logic. But the body, the matter of the formation of the letters, which is the aspect of the external aspect of the letters. What is it? This is the breath that goes out from the heart. And from this breath, it is formed a simple sound which comes from the throat. That is for all the letters. And then it is divided into 22 expressions, 22 pronunciations. So the 22 letters. And they come through the five known organs of speech, which is Aleph, Ches, He, Ayin, Me'agorin. These letters come from the throat. Gimel, Yud, Kaf, Kuf, Me'acheich. These letters come from the palate, and so on. Umivta, Ahevel, Uois, Hey, Osa, Klila, Chulu. While the breath itself is uttered by the letter He, the light letter, because the letter He is not confined to any letter. The letter He is the breath, which all letters come from it. And this is the source, the letter A is the source of the matter and the body of the letter before their division into 22 letters of the alphabet. Belochein, this explains why Amru Razal, our sages said, that this world is created by the letter He, because this world is about the body. It's not, a, it's not so much about the form. Not to say that the form, you cannot have the form, Indeed, the job of, of tzaddikim is to find the form of this world. You find the neshama, just like when you look at a physical thing. You can see the physical part of it, and you can see the spiritual. And you look, the job is to look and to refine ourselves and to find the, the more spiritual part in everything. That's why the Tzemach Tzedek once said that if we think about what the speech, how powerful the speech is, the speech, we, the words we utter, we take it for granted. But we, we say so many words, but every, if you think about it, every single word comes from the very deep source, wisdom which is above the logic, so high. That's and what happens when you use the words in a negative way. What happens when you drag down this power that you have into wrong places. That is why. And in the contrary, of course, when you use these words and you connect with the higher things, saying a nice word to, some, to someone, 
saying words of Taira, saying prayer words, those are the words, and you're using this Chachma and this Kadmus HaSeichel, the will of the soul itself, into, and you bring it down, you form it into Kedusha, into holiness. So this is the end of today's Shir. Tonight, as we said, join us. Uh, it's going to be a fascinating class tonight, also 8 o'clock for the Torah studies. And Bezrat uh, Hashem tomorrow again, 9, 9 a.m. Thank you for joining. Please share, please subscribe. And uh, any questions, I'll take now questions.